so I'm back continuing to open up my case of the Skull and Shackles pre-painted plastic figures that are part of the Pathfinder Battles uh, miniature line and this is going to be brick number two if you're really not interested in watching the unboxing I'll have a video at the end where I kind of show all the miniatures that I got in the case so you can see a distribution I won't be doing any close-ups probably in that video of anything except for that gargantuan skeletal dragon but uh it will show all the figures that come and what you can probably expect to get out of the case So I had a pretty even distribution, no real big repeats in the first brick. Usually gets to about the third brick where you start seeing repeats on figures you don't really want too many of. They tend to be the NPCs that can double as PCs or other things. But so to start out with, we're going to get a rare in this pack. You don't necessarily get a rare in every pack. As a matter of fact, you definitely don't get a rare in every pack. We have the BG's Beetle Seaweed Monster here. I don't remember seeing this in the Adventure Path, so I'm not quite sure why it's in the set. It may have been in there and I just missed it. This is the Seaweed Siren, so it's kind of a big monster that's got some fake heads on it. It's a real goofy looking thing. And then we're going to have some, we've already gotten all these figures in the first case, but we have a Elder Brycolacus. That's kind of an aquatic undead, so you need multiples of those in the adventure path. We have a Were-Shark Pirate. You'll need multiple of those in the adventure path. And then we have a Scourge Hill Knight Paralictor. You only need one of those in the adventure path, but that's a marine that could easily be a any kind of heavily armored bad guy in whatever scenario you're running. Get brick or box number two here. Cyclops here and that's an uncommon and I got one in the first brick this is number two out of the case it's a nice figure and you need multiples of those in the adventure path or probably multiples in any kind of uh, module that you would run we have uh, a sentinel devil there and I've already gotten a couple of those but that's you're going to need multiple of those in encounters. We have a couple of named NPC bad guys here. We have Kurdak Bonefist, and he is an uncommon. And he's one of your main adversaries. Uh, not necessarily combat to start out with, just kind of competition in the adventure path. And then you have Wellbone Pilk, and he's kind of an undead captain that scourges the seas. So you get a rare couple of uncommons and a uh, common in that pack so we've got pack number three now we'll open it up so we've got a uh, Hammerhead Shark here, and I've already got a Hammerhead Shark. And this is an uncommon, but it's a good uncommon to get. And then we have... This is... Master of the Gales, and he's a... An NPC you get in a... You encounter in the adventure path, and he's a... He's uncommon, so you're going to get multiples of him in the case, but it's not a real good repeat. You have the Brine Brood Queen, and she is a rare. 
and she's kind of a special character Grindy Low. And then you have a Greater Host Devil, which is a common, and it's kind of something in the adventure path and other encounters that you might have in adventures that you'd need multiples of. Pack number four here. So we have a shimmery here. It's kind of a cat with snakes coming out of its back. They make some weird stuff in the Pathfinder RPG, just where they smash the monsters together. But that is an uncommon figure. It's a large. First one in this case. We have a another case here. We're going to be a, kind of a named character. He looks like a Chelish officer. And he is, but he ends up being a pirate ally in adventure, or can be an ally, and that is Aranax and Demion. So you get kind of a kind of a uniformed uh, naval officer there. We have a Sahagwin, I believe that's how you pronounce it, but they call them Sea Devils in the adventure path. And this is a champion. You see, he's got full arms, pretty severe bend in the the weapon there. I have to put a heat gun to that, straighten that out. So he's kind of a fish man. And then we have a kind of a ghoul here. They call it a lady ghoul. And I forget what they call it in the adventure path. But they're kind of uh, ladies of the night that have uh, been aboard pirate ships that have died at sea, so they turn into ghouls. So this pack I haven't yet to get any of, so it's too commons and two uncommons in that pack. I got pack number five here. So, get another sea cat and I got one of these in the first brick and that's uh, uncommon see it's got a decent paint job on it and then we have uh, a couple more commons that I already have some of but you need more of them for encounters especially in the adventure path and that's a sentinel devil and a grindy low and then we have a named character Naga here she's a medium base and that is Salissa you don't necessarily fight her in the adventure path but I mean you could always use it in another adventure for whatever you're running or you could have some PCs that just like to smash everything. Uh, pack number six here. So we kind of have a spider creature here and this is Peta, and she is a phase spider in the adventure. She kind of leads a group of other spiders, so it's a rare figure. Yeah, it's one of the rares. Kind of hard to see her face there. You see, they got these held in a little better with the twist ties. To see on the rares and the larger ones, they tend to do a little bit better paint job. And then we've already got all these figures in a case. This is a repeat of an NPC. You get a lot of that in the Pathfinder battle stuff, but she could always be used as a generic pirate or a PC character. And that was Sindar Quinn. You have a blood bug, kind of like a Sturge. And we have a pirate smuggler. So both of these generic things that you could need multiple of for encounters. So that was a rare, two commons, and an uncommon. Let's 
So this is the third shark we're gonna get, but this is the first one of the great white looking variety. This is an uncommon. And you need quite a few sharks. Of course, they have some super large sharks in the adventure path that you just have to come up with something else to use. It looks like we're gonna get a couple more commons. If it will focus. The Elder Brycolacus. You get one of him, you get another rat swarm. That's a small base rat swarm. And then you get a Chelish naval officer here, an admiral, Admiral Thrun. And she ends up being the main adversary in one of the adventures out of the adventure path. So you can kind of see her, see if I can get in her own rule. Not quite as good a paint job on the, f the faces tend to be lacking. The rest of the body looks pretty good. And then we have the last pack in this brick. This is pack number eight. repeat of the large figure. We've already got one of these in the first case and that's the sea troll. Has a good paint job on it. Has the huge jaw there and got a couple of huge cleavers. And we're gonna get a repeat on this common and that's a pirate sailor. And then we get a couple of more NPC named characters. We have the eel. He's kind of a halfling alchemist. And then we have kind of a little witch spellcaster character there, Locario. And these are both bad guys in the adventure path, but you can see they can be used for generic bad guys of a certain type or even a PC in the halfling's case. So that was brick number two of the Skull and Shackles pre-painted plastic figures.